Hey guys, uh, so if you saw my last video, you know that I just recently got a new Diatone Taycan Cinewhoop. Um, and I'm pretty excited about this thing. Um, I thought it'd be really cool to actually outfit it with some LEDs so that we could do some really cool chase scenes through abandoned buildings and stuff like that. So after a quick search online, I saw that they actually make a kit with clear ducts, LEDs, and all the other hardware that you need to make it work. Uh, so I thought it'd be cool to actually go over the process of installing it. Make sure you stick around for the end of the video so you can see how this turned out and what it looks like flying around that night. So the kit that I got was from Newbie Drone, and it included the see-through ducts, uh, LED strips, some 3M adhesive strips, standoffs, wiring, and a little control board. So the first thing we're going to have to do is to take this thing apart. And we're also going to take off the carbon from the top of the ducts. Remove the bumpers. Lift up to remove the ducts. So now that we have both the bumpers and the ducts taken off, uh, we can take the Cinewhoop skeleton and set it aside. So the next thing we're going to do is cut the LEDs to size. Um, and we're just going to bend it in half to find the midway point. And we're going to cut so that we have two even strips. And then pull these apart at the seam. So we're left with four even LED strips. So the next thing we're going to do is to solder the end with the 5 volt signal wire and ground using one of the provided wiring harnesses. The next thing we do is to solder the input ground and power to the little breakout board. Okay, so here is the little breakout board with the power, ground, and input. So grab one of these 3M strips. And starting at this notch, wrap the entire duck. And we're going to want to line up these wires with this notch and the LEDs facing inward. Just like that. Okay, so the next step is to line the holes on your ducts up with the standoffs. Actually get those things on. <laughs> 
Okay, so one other thing I did is I cut off the connector from the little wiring harness that they gave me um, because you have to solder directly to the board. Um, so in the Mamba stack, you got the LED right next to the USB port. And according to the diagram, it's five volt LED and ground. Okay, so I have it soldered up now with five volt LED and ground. And now we should just be able to connect each one of the ducts. So I've just routed each one of the wires on the outside of each one of these standoffs. And loosely I'm holding them together with a zip tie. And I think the next thing that we have to do is to now just put the foam back around the new ducts. Replace the carbon fiber tops. And lastly, I'm going to put on the gaskets and the top plate. That should be it as far as the installation. So now we just have to set up through data flight. Connect your quad to data flight and in the menu, select configuration. Scroll down until you see LED strip and enable it. Make sure to save and reboot. So once rebooted, enable expert mode and you should now see a LED strip in the menu. Uh, scroll down and select it. Choose wire ordering mode and drag 16 squares from the grid since we have 16 LEDs. Disable wiring ordering mode and from the function pull down, choose color. Now reselect the 16 squares for each one of your LEDs, and now choose which color you want. Make sure to save. And just to be sure, I always save and reboot. So when it boots back up, you should be able to go down to LED and see that all 16 have the color that you chose. I finally have everything back together and I set up my LEDs in beta flight. So now, check that out. Okay, I'm gonna take it outside really quick so you can see what it looks like in the dark. <laughs> 